the legendary Eddie Conyers, presented each week by Just Add Shutters, locally owned and operated for over 24 years while carrying the prestigious A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, specializing in shutters, shutter repairs, shades, and blinds. They can make your house look like a million bucks, and you won't have to spend a million bucks to make it look that way. Bubba, Roy, Sam, they'll give you the estimate. They'll do the work. They'll see it through, and uh, they'll make you feel a lot better about your home. 205-752-3476. Let's go to the Bud Light Highline and welcome in the man himself. Eddie, how you doing, buddy? All right, Gary. How about you? Well, I'm sitting here this morning kind of figuring out what's wrong with me. And you're, <laughs> you, you you play amateur uh, psychiatrist from time to time. Uh, let me see. Tell me, You tell me, all right? Here we are on a bye week. I got a full-time job at the TV station, which keeps me, I'd say, easily minimum of 50 hours, probably close to 60 a week. I do this show. I do Tider Insider, as you know, Crimson Tide Kickoff, Football Friday. And here we are in a bye week, and a lot of the guys here at Tide are, are taking the day off going into the bye weekend, and I'm the one with the full-time job, and I'm in here doing my show. Why? What's wrong with me? Why aren't I taking the day off and going to the beach? I'm not worried about you. I'm thinking about me going to practice today. <laughs> All right, enough about me then. Let's get to it. Hey, what about practice? What what what's it like um on a bye week? I mean, I know they do a lot of work on they do some work on other teams. They they do some work on fundamentals. I know now they're kicking in on A and M, but how how in your opinion, you know, being at all these practices, how is it different during a bye week? We don't usually get but one during the season. This year we're gonna get two, but how is it different in a bye week as opposed to a week when they're preparing to play a game on Saturday? Well, when you have your preseason, uh, Coach Saban's practice is kind of following kind of a pattern preseason. And, and, and during this bye week, uh, by plan, I'm sure, but it seems to be the practices are kind of like they are in a preseason rather than, you know, where you get ready for the season rather than for a particular team. So it's, it's been pretty much like it would be like we've just starting in early August. It's still hot. Yeah, gosh. Speaking of that, I'm glad you brought that up. And I know you're not a meteorologist, although I think from time to time you played one on TV just like me. Uh, we might have brought this up last week, but in all your years out there, and, and listen, going from Coach Brian all the way through now to Coach Saban, and and uh, I know it's, you know, you deal with heat in this part of the country. It's just the way it is. But have you ever seen this type of heat all through September without a break. And I know we haven't seen it in October because this is the first time we've ever had it. Three straight days of 100-degree temperatures in, in October. I mean, what's that like? I mean, I know players are accustomed to it, and they can go inside some, but usually by this time of the year, you're at least it's in the 80s. I mean, it, it's been miserable. How the players handled it? Well, you know, that uh, people ask me that all the time. Of course, we're out in kind of a lightweight uni- uniform, the official's uniform, but those players out there in full gear, and quite frankly, I, I don't know how to take it. But they seem to thrive on it. I, I don't know why that would be, but they, they, they know they've got to do it, and they, they just go ahead and do it. But it has been, Gary, it's been, as you know, been blistering, brutal hot. Yeah, just it's just not any fun. They're saying, you know, a little bit of a break this weekend, and then the first next week it's finally supposed to cool down. I'll believe it when I see it and, and when I feel it. Um a lot of talk. You know this. You you watch the sports reports. Hopefully, you watch mine a lot. Listen to the shows and uh, about the defense. And I've been on a little bit of a soapbox here on my show, Eddie. With and that, don't get me wrong. I think the defense can play better. I think they will. But I think we're expecting too much. Alabama fans, and it's a good thing to be spoiled because it shows that you've been winning a lot, but this offense Alabama's got is next-level elite. Uh, not only do they score a lot of points, Eddie, they score them fast. You know, they score, They you know, you're back out there. I just think you have to kind of adjust your thinking as to what good defense is now as opposed to 10, 12 years ago, don't you? Oh, sure, and I, and I think we tend to forget the, the, the injuries we had in such critical spots. Uh, 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 almost devastating injuries you know, to the linebackers. And, uh, under Coach Saban's series, the linebackers are the ones that set the defense up. And when you have to have freshmen in there, it's just something they got to get used to. But uh, uh, but the defense is predicated so much on the linebackers. And we had two devastating injuries there that took out two people that uh, you know were heavily dependent on. But as long as Coach Saban, he's defensive oriented. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I, I think he could take you and me and some more people down at this staff and have a pretty good defense. But wait a minute, don't take you, but take me and 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've already told me where I where I uh, what was it you said last week? Uh, what what the coach tell me? I can't even remember. It was all funny. Well, he said you've been a great player except for one thing. You just wasn't not any good. <laughs> But you made up for it by being slow. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> I had one, one, one major drawback: talent. Didn't have any. Um, with with Coach Saban, and and as we have documented, you've been through them all since Coach Bryant. Um, I know how intense he is, and and but during the bye week, do you sense at all that he lets himself relax a little bit, or is it just the same? Can you can you even tell a difference from when? Um, he's preparing for a game that weekend as opposed to when he's coaching a team that's going into bye weekend. I hope he doesn't hear that, but I don't really believe Coach Saban could spell relax. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he's he's so intense and, and so into it. Uh, I mean, we, he runs from one drill to the other where, where players are kind of lagging along. He, he's just uh, he's totally intense. And I don't think you know, he, he certainly doesn't relax during the season, but He's a consummate football coach. No question about that. Watching this offense, and you've seen a lot of great ones. I mean, we, you saw the the heyday of the wishbone uh, when you first got to Alabama with Coach Bryant in the early '60s. Man, they had you saw you got to see you know uh, Trammell and, and and Sloan and Stabler and Namath and and Hunter and go on and on, and then all, all the wishbone quarterbacks with with Todd and with Rutledge and Terry Davis and Stedman and you know Jack O'Rear and you know. Right on one through. Right after another, really, just one right. And obviously, the quarterback was so critical to the wishbone. This offense now, though, with Tua and these receivers, can you can you compare it to anything? I mean, it's just almost like it's a it's a, a practice out there for him. I mean, Tua just drops back, he throws it, and those guys just runs for touchdowns. I mean, when you watch them work in practice, is it is it that smooth or? You know, do they ever not look like they're on top of their game? No, yeah, Tom Rinaldi, you know, with ESPN. Yeah, he was there the other day practice, and uh, they, they, I think they're going to do some kind of a special just from Alabama's receivers. But not, of course, I've, I've, I was there with Julio and Ray Perkins and Holman and all of the receivers, but I've never seen this many competent, total good receivers on one team, and. There's some you don't even mention, like it's a Bolden kid, a Slade Bolden. Yeah, yeah. He, he's he's uh, not even mentioned you, but he, he's top quality. I just was quite to answer your question. I have never seen. I've seen really good receivers, obviously, Julio being about as good as you ever want to see. But I don't think I've ever seen this many. And that's vital, you know, because uh, you can't concentrate. Defense can't concentrate on any one. You, if you've got Ruggs on one side, Smith, Devontae on the other side, it creates quite a problem for you. Yeah, it does. I don't think I've ever seen this good a group of receivers on any team in college football since I've been maybe, watching it. Maybe. Yeah. I, I think it's the best. All right, what's a what's a buy we like like for uh, uh, Eddie and Mrs. Conyers? Uh, you uh, you got anything special with 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 Alabama not playing tomorrow? What do you what do you do to enjoy a weekend with no football? I mean, there's football, but not Alabama football. Well, we got up this morning and our usual fuss. <laughs> and she threw me out of the house, and I'm trying to get back in a little bit and have <laughs> lunch. <laughs> All the times that she's kicked you out, do you have a uh, do you have a specific recipe you, you, you use to get back in? <clears throat> well, well, yeah, I think uh, begging and crawling on your knees helps, <laughs> and telling her she's right and you're wrong that that usually that's, helps too, doesn't that's it? That's right. You better believe it. <laughs> that's uh, that's great stuff. What about uh, what about a, before we turn you loose? A little funny tidbit, a little story. I mean, it's it's storytelling time. And and again, I'll remind folks. Listen, uh, we love having Eddie on the radio show. Crimson Tide kickoff. Now we won't have one tomorrow because there's no game. But uh, his segments on Crimson Tide kickoff have been unbelievable. You want to watch those Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. on WVO 23. But give us give us a, a few words of wisdom before we turn you loose. Well, I like to go back to Coach Bryant's uh, philosophies. It, it kind of uh, applies to you and me and others. And that he took ordinary people and made them extraordinary. He called them little in betweeners. He, he he related to the uh, the guys with not with ninety percent ability to get them one hundred ten percent. And it would be it's difficult to win, beat when you got eleven guys giving you one hundred ten percent, regardless of their size or their ability. But Coach Bryant kind of related more to what he called in betweeners. And Gary, you and I definitely fit into that category. <laughs> indeed, indeed we do. 
All right, folks. Again, Mr. Connors is brought to you every week by Just Add Shutters. Um, listen, I mean, I know you've got a um, you've got a vested interest in this. It's 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 your family that runs the business, but but say a few words for Just Add Shutters. Well, I think say say they uh, and this will be getting figures out of the air. Let's say if you save, uh, it, it costs you a thousand dollars to put the shutters in. I think it increases the value of your house about two to three thousand dollars. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's really kind of a plus investment there. You you invest a thousand, but it increases your value about two thousand. So we we certainly look at that way, and I mean that it, it really increases the value of your house. Yeah, make it look better, increase your value, and it'll help you on your power bills too. They can help you out with that. Give uh, Bubba, Royce, and Sam a call at two zero five seven five two three four seven six. That's two zero five seven five two three four seven six. All you need to know if you want to spruce up your home is J A S. Just add shutters. Give me a prediction on Auburn and Florida tomorrow. I, I, I really, I'm, I'm really, I hate to say it, but I'm starting to like. I say like Auburn. I like their chances. Uh, I believe they. I think they'll win it by about anywhere from three to seven. Yeah, they're a really good team. They're Thank good you. Team. Thank you, Eddie. Talk to you again next week, and we'll have another game to talk about as Alabama will be back out to getting ready to play Texas A&M. I appreciate it, my friend. Look forward to it, Gary. Thanks.